So right now the AC is set to 78, but um, and the inside temperature is 79. However, the AC blower isn't coming on. What to do? First, you need to check the circuit breaker to see if anything got tripped. AC circuit breaker, not tripped. I reset it, so that's not the problem. Second, you want to check the furnace. I open up the furnace panel. There's a blower motor. The blower motor won't come on. I checked the power. There is 120 volts right there, but it still won't come on. Next thing you want to check is the 24 volts uh, between R on the circuit board. So you just measure R and then you can go to like uh, common C or G, it doesn't really matter. And I measure both between them. I press this switch right here on top to turn on the power to the circuit board and you should have 24 volts as you can see you have yep you have 27 volts next go back to the thermostat and I measure between red RC and green or white down here and I should have a voltage difference of 24 to 27 volts AC well I got nothing so that means that the power from the circuit board isn't coming over here. One logic is maybe you have a broken wire. But before you get to that conclusion... So the way you check it is you can pop this out, just pull it out, and then you want to check to see if there's any water or condensation in there that floods up. Uh, you can look at this next video that I attach right here to, that explains more on how this gadget works right here. Um, but this, it's dry inside, there's no water, um, and I tested this earlier, uh, and for some reason it won't short. Um, so, maybe the magnet is broken or whatsoever. I'm going to replace it with this brand new one that I bought online. In order to replace it first, I'm going to disconnect the red wire and one of the wires of it with this uh, wire uh, nut and then at red R I'm going to loosen that up take this out and I'm going to pull this wire out from the side and this wire just goes all the way up right here that's it now I'm gonna put a new one in I just uh, replaced the uh, the wires I just tied that in put in this new uh, overflow shutoff switch into here um, and I'm gonna try turn uh, covering this panel back up to see if it works. Actually I can just do it by touching the switch. And it comes on, seems like. Yep. So that it was just as simple as that. The reason why the blower didn't come on was because that switch right there was bad. And another thing that you want to check is sometimes the, the, the drainage pipe, which is a very simple pipe, it just drains outside. This pipe right here sometimes can be clogged, so make sure that the pipe isn't clogged. In our situation, in our scenario, it wasn't clogged, it was simply a switch. For some reason, it wasn't working. So I'm going to put everything back together right now.